I've always heard about this event. I've always been drawn to it. I've always wanted to come, but I'm always working on a Monday. So for some reason this year, I had already scheduled the time off because we had like four or five other events this weekend. And I wanted to be a part of this, whether I was a patron or little did I know I would meet Cindy. And now I got to be the guest speaker. So I was very honored that it is the eighth year here for Fashion with a Cure. And it's my eighth year being a survivor. So I feel like I was here for a reason. Our mother was diagnosed with breast cancer around the same time as one of our employees and one of our best friends. And we just thought, well, something's going on. That, and we felt like we just needed to do something and raise the awareness about it. We brainstormed on one evening up here at Trevenia where it all started with Anderson, who at the time was not my brother-in-law. He was just the general manager. And my sister and I, we all sat up here and thought, what can we do and bring the community together to raise awareness and make you know raise some money for some of the local breast cancer um, charities? And we were like, you know, this is a great venue. Women prefer luncheons, I feel like. It's a uh, more of a ladies type thing. And we've introduced more men in, over the years, but in the beginning it was mostly ladies. And we just made it a, you know, a fashion show. We, uh, each year we have a honorary speaker that represents a different um, charity for breast cancer, our local um, charities. Through YSC, what we try to do is help people through cancer. It's not just breast cancer, it's any cancer. We wanna help you. And our local organization will do that. We provide resources, people to talk to face to face, to give you the correct information, to give you hope and empowerment to get through what you're about to face. Nothing in life is easy, but if you connect with the right people with something similar that you're going through and you can relate to them, because through cancer, your best friend might not be there, your mom doesn't understand what you're about to go through, but if there's another person who's gone down that path you're about to face, you guys can relate with each other and it's kind of like you become cancer buddies or breast friends is what we say instead of best friends it's breast friends oh gosh these women inspire us they all inspire us it makes you just think and they're all so positive it's nothing but positive energy when you get all these girls together it just makes you feel like you can conquer anything you can you know you can make it through anything um, when you think life is at your, your worst and it could not just be breast cancer, it can be anything. You know, always have that silver lining and look ahead and make the most of what you have. I like to encourage people that no matter what type of cancer they have or no matter what their diagnosis is, nobody can put a time stamp on your life. Through hope, love, and faith, anything is possible. With your will to live and your positive attitude, things can change. You can live a long time through cancer. Thinking more on the positive versus the negative about what you're about to face, you can prolong your life. And if you have more time with your family, time is everything. So no matter what stage you are, live for today. Don't let cancer own you. You own your cancer. You live through it. You're not alone. And we can help you through this.